So, you want to learn how to make a key in a sprite? Well, you've come to the right place. I got you. Welcome. My name's Kai. Sit down. Take a seat. Get comfortable. Kick your shoes off and relax. Welcome back to Watch Mojo. I'm joking. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai. And today we're back once again to take a look at how to make a key pixel art thing in a sprite. Let's get started. It's actually going to be animated as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, and get this thing cracking. So down at the bottom, you see we have these layers, and we have this little thing that says one. Um, we can add frames or delete frames. <gasps> oh. All right. Um, I forgot where I was where I was going with this. Uh, yes. Um, down here at the, at the bottom, you can see where it says frames. We can hit this little plus button to add a new frame or take away frames, but we won't worry about that right now. That's just something uh, for, for later on. So let's go ahead and we can actually uh, either hit delete frame or just... Um, or just it controls you to undo those now i want to get the basic shape for the key down first so let's go ahead and use a black color and we'll just kind of outline what i want the key to look like we'll do something like maybe this um maybe one too high like that we'll come down and do like this and like that and like this i suppose um, we'll have it come down to maybe about there. Yeah. Come out like that, I guess. And then maybe something like that. And then this will be a little space and this will be a little space. Okay, cool. That was pretty cool. I like that. It looks very nice. Um, very key-like, I suppose, as it were. But um, but yeah, so that's that's the uh, basic shape I want to go for. Maybe we, maybe we take these in, the sides in, by one pixel. Maybe we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, sure, I like that. Why not? It's pretty good. Maybe we'll pull it down. Nah, we'll leave it the way that, we'll leave it the way that it was. Um, all right, cool. Maybe it's a little bit too round now as well. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. All right, cool. There we go. Um, nice. With that done, let's go ahead and on the inside, I want to go ahead and put something that looks like this, just to make like just like a little loop. Obviously, a little hole there for the you know ring of the key or whatever, what have you. Um, and this might be a little bit too big now. So let's go ahead and. Yeah, I think that I think that's more reasonable. Yeah, I think it looks maybe less like a key though now, but it is it is what it is. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll use a nice golden color to kind of um, finish this off. Something about maybe maybe like that. Yeah, and then we'll drop the color down, add a little bit of red, orangish to it, like that, and then we will do something like that maybe. Something like this on the edges, the corners there. Maybe put one there. Maybe there. Yeah, cool. It looks nice. I like that. That looks really cool. And then I might just go ahead and create a highlight on one of these sides here. Like that. Yeah, it looks cool. Nice. Like that, maybe. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that. Maybe we'll put this like this and that like that. Um, yeah, okay. That looks cool. I, 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 I can get with this. I can get with this. I can get with this. This looks really cool. Um, move it more in the center. Maybe about right there. There we go. Now, for the animated part, I want to go ahead and hit this little um, frame button. And I just want to move it up and down, like slowly. Just like a slowly up and down kind of thing. So, we'll move this up by one frame like that there we go and then next frame uh it'll literally just go back down so it's just like a little animation like this but i also think that i want to maybe elongate the key so um or squish it down rather so hit new frame here and then perhaps we might pull all this down like that by one and then, oops, no, that's the wrong thing i accidentally went to the uh, other place nice um and then uh, the next frame will just be regular again so it should play like this it's gonna be too, way too fast though but we'll go ahead and... all right frame constant frame rate boom and then we'll just change this i believe that we need to make this or maybe probably around 300 ish maybe something like that uh, i don't know if i like that but the last frame is kind of throwing me off. It looks too like so squishy and soft, I guess, as it were. So we'll just have it go up and down like that. 
Now we need to do the last thing, which is of course the outline. So we'll grab our darkest color, which is this color, drop it down a lot, saturate it, add a little bit more red to it, and maybe drop it down even more, even more than that. Maybe even more than that. And then there we go. Okay, I think that looks good. We'll take a look from a little bit further back. Eh, it's not dark enough still. All right, cool. We'll just hit G or go to the bucket right tool right here, the bucket tool, and then just uh, paint all these in like this. I believe it's G, maybe F, yeah, it's G. And then we'll paint all of those in thusly. And then maybe we'll go to the second frame, do the same exact thing. There we go. So that is basically our key. Um, little animated key that jiggles up and down. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.